Welcome to the DK Custom Products channel. Today we're going to address a FAQ, frequently asked question about infrared. <laughs> Welcome to the DK Custom Products channel. Today we're going to talk about using an infrared thermometer or heat gun to tell the temperature of your Hurley Davidson. Before we get into it, if you could please like, comment, and subscribe to our channel, we'd appreciate it. It helps us out a lot. So we've had the question quite a few times uh, from people about using an infrared heat gun to tell the temperature of your bike. And so when you're looking at temperature, there's two different things. You're looking at the engine temperature and you're looking at the oil temperature. Those are the two things we look at. And the way that we look at them is we have, we use power vision. You can see on the power vision here, it's showing that the engine temperature is 237 degrees. And that's coming right off the heat sensor that is on the rear cylinder. And that's what the ECM uses for knowing what the engine temperature is. And then on the oil, got an oil gauge here that reads the oil temp. Now, if a person doesn't have a power vision to get the readout or have a oil temperature gauge to get the oil temperature, they look at, should we use an infrared uh, heat gun to do that? And what we've discovered in using an infrared heat gun is it can be useful, but it has to be used correctly. And what do I mean by correctly? The reading from an infrared heat gun will vary based on the surface. So for instance, a shiny surface is not going to give you a good reading as a non-shiny surface. And then the distance it is from the thing that you're measuring and the angle that it's at on the thing that you're measuring will vary the temperature. So let's, <clears throat> what I've done with, with my heat gun, you can see that I have taped a pin here so that when I, if I wanted to measure the temperature of this, I'm at the same distance every time measuring the temperature. And then of course, I just have to know that I'm at the same angle because we'll, let's just read this here. So this is 101 degrees at that distance, but look at, I go to that angle and it's 92 degrees. I go to this angle, it's 96 degrees. And I go back to that angle and it's 100 degrees and it's the same distance the whole time. Now, let's go ahead and not use my little distance thing here. So it's at 99 degrees and I'm going to go away. 98, 97, 95, 93, 91 degrees, 90 degrees. So it's not just the it's the distance and the angle that you put it at will give it a different degree. So if we come over here to measure the cylinder head temperature, what I like to do is I like to put this pin because it's going to be the same distance every time. Obviously, you don't know which one's the accurate temperature, but is this 87 degrees or is it 80 degrees? It doesn't really matter that much, what you want to do is you want to get a comparison. And so you want to be the same angle. So I put this right up against the head and I put that, see the red dot? I put that red dot right next to the spark plug opening. And what is it saying? 209 degrees. And then I can do the same thing up here and I'm getting the same distance and hopefully the same angle every time. So that's 200 degrees even. That's 208 degrees. I see what happens when I come back. What is it, 195 now, 198, 187, 186. And I'm in the same position. Look where the red dot is. It's the same position but because it's a little different angle and because it's further away, it does not give the correct reading. So this is not a really accurate way to get 
readings of your oil. People say, I'll take the dipstick in and shoot it down. But if you're not getting the same angle and the same distance, you're not going to get the same temperature. You're going to get varying temperatures and you don't know which one is the right temperature. So for oil, if you really want to know your oil temperature, uh, a temperature dipstick, either the Hurley one, which is a digital or an analog one like what I have, or you can even use like a uh, um, temperature gauge that you use for like checking a turkey or something. You know, take your dipstick out and put that in. But the thing is, is you're not going to get an accurate temperature with this. Now, if you want to see what effect your fans have on it or different things have on your outside cylinder temperature, you don't have something like this to read it with, set your heat gun up with something like this where you can get the same distance and then try and get the same angle each time and when you do that you'll have a apples to apple comparison it's not necessarily the correct temperature as we just saw is it 208 degrees or is it 188 degrees don't know because this is not an accurate way to get a temperature. But if you do the same angle and the same distance every time, you'll at least know, well, when I added this or when I took this away, it added this temperature or took this much temperature away because when you're at the same angle and the same distance every time, it will be an apples to apple comparison. But as a general rule, this is not the way to know really what your engine temperature is. The way to know that is from the heat sensor that is in the head that is being displayed on the power vision. And then of course, from an actual temperature gauge being put into the oil to get the correct temperature. So that's the answer to that. We do use this just for before and after on stuff but we make sure the angle and the distance are the same. But for the majority of the time when we talk about engine temperature or oil temperature, we're getting actual readings, not readings that would vary greatly from an infrared gun. If you all found this video useful, we appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, please leave us a comment or shoot us an email at support at dkcustomproducts.com. Y'all ride safe out there.